right? Maybe we should share this with the whole class. Uh, maybe we shouldn't. Well, class, now I want you to remember your original poems are due tomorrow. Rahamish, I would appreciate it in English. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to a new classmate. This is Heather Montgomery. Heather, why don't you tell us a little something about yourself? Well, my mom didn't want to move here, but she said since my dad makes so much money, we can go out of town every weekend. Oh, well, thank you, Heather. What I meant was, why don't you tell us about you? Okay, I'll never have to work a day in my life. <laughs> I see. Heather, why don't you hang your coat up? My mother says I shouldn't, because it's so nice, someone might take it. <laughs> Dad, I promise, I won't ask you for anything else as long as I live. Not even food, but I need this. No, you don't, and I don't want to hear another word about it. I'm going to be late for my date. But, Dad, please, I gotta have a magic set. Oliver, my final answer is no. If you'd rather hear it in Spanish, no. Beaver, may I offer a suggestion? Sure, as long as you're not going to insult my tie again. Sorry, dear, I didn't quite hear what you said. Your tie's too loud. Mom, I can dress myself. But, Dad, if I don't have a magic set, I can't be in talent night. And I want to astound my friends. You could always wear your father's tie. Oliver, how many times have I rushed out to buy you something that you had to have, only to have you lose interest in it? Never. Never? How about the drum set? And the video games? The home hairstyling kit? Hey, your hair grew fast. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Beaver. I was just um, passing by and these ties fell out of a tree. <laughs> oh, why don't you pick one out to wear on your date tonight? I love this tie. Every fish is different. I like it too, Dad. I think it's real cool. Get that boy a magic set. Hey, I thought the baby and I were the only ones doing the late shift. What are you doing up? I have to write a poem for school, and I can't figure out how to finish it. It's blank. I can't figure out how to start it either. <laughs> Honey, do you have any idea what time it is? Please, don't give me any math problems. I'm having enough trouble with this poem. You start on it sooner. I couldn't. I had to go over to JJ's after school. She's got this new kitten that lets you try earrings on it. You know, honey, there's an old saying. When all important work is done, playtime is a lot more fun. Hey, that rhymes. I'll use it for my poem. Uh, I'm afraid not. I tell you what, if you promise to start on your work earlier next time, I'll help you out this time. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Here, put it on my desk and I'll copy it over in the morning. I'm not going to write it for you. But I could get you started on the right track. What you need is, uh, a little inspiration. Well, <laughs> oh, here we go. Poetry. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this one looks nice. Brookhurst. Ah, by Philip Carey. <clears throat> Quiet and peaceful as nature's snow blankets. Memories of Christmas and Thanksgiving banquets. Alive as a fiery, thundering downpour. Brookhurst keeps bringing me back home for more. Hey, that's a really neat poem. A lot of it was in the reading, but you get the idea. Yeah, I'll write a poem about Mayfield. That'll be easy. Thanks, Dad. Where'd you take your date for dinner? Well, she wanted ethnic food, so I took her to that new Canadian restaurant. You think you'll be seeing her again? You bet. She liked my tie. Prepare to be Miss 
mystified. Just learned my first trick. Excuse me, young man. <laughs> Observe. Two ordinary grade AA eggs. from an ordinary dairy cow. <laughs> and right before your very eyes, presto change you. Abracadabra. A flower for my lady. Thank you. See? Empty! <laughs> well, I don't get it. When I tried it upstairs, the same thing happened. <laughs> Dad, you better stop him before someone gets hurt. No, he's got to keep trying. I remember when I was a kid and everybody told me I was no good at baseball. I was ready to give up. But Uncle Wally would stay out with me every night practicing until it got so dark that I couldn't even see the ball anymore. And then you got good? Okay. So, maybe that wasn't the best example. <laughs> Mayfield, My Hometown, by Kelly Cleaver. Quiet and peaceful as nature's snow blankets, memories of Christmas and Thanksgiving banquets, alive as a fiery, thundering downpour, Mayfield keeps bringing me back home for more. That was wonderful, Kelly. children. Boys, <laughs> throw your milk cartons in the trash, not at the janitor. Leave me in the hall and make sure Heather doesn't follow you this time. Nice poem, Kelly. Thanks. Almost as nice as Brookhurst by Philip Carey. I had to memorize it last year in my private school. Uh, are you going to tell on me? No. Why would I tell on my best friend you know nobody likes me here but from now on you're gonna have to change it over here i'd hide too if i'd ignore my best friend for a week i haven't been able to play with you because well you see hi kelly I guess you were just telling JJ you can't play with her anymore. Well, I don't want to play with you either because your lips don't match. <laughs> oh, did I interrupt something? We were just discussing your poem. Let's go. Heather, isn't today your piano lesson? Yeah, but someone has to turn the pages. Oh, hello, girl. Kelly, I have wonderful news for you. Your poem was so good, I've decided you should read it at Talent Night. Really? I'm so proud of you. I know your parents will be when they hear you recite it. I'll see you tomorrow, girls. What am I gonna do? I can't read that poem in front of my dad. He's the one who read it to me. He finds out he'll probably give away all my toys and make me play with dirt. You know, you're cute, but dumb. Just don't tell your dad about talent night. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm just sleepwalking again. Where did all this food come from? I don't care if you eat Fluffy's food. I've got my own problems. What's the matter, my little pudding pop? Kelly won't play with me anymore. Kelly? Of course she will, my little bran muffin. Not anymore. Oh, she's creepy. Heather's best friend. Heather does sit-ups in gym. Kelly holds her ankles down. She used to hold mine. <laughs> Listen, my little mushroom. Tomorrow morning, I'll call Wally 
and I'll tell him just to make Kelly be friends with you again. Well, you can't make somebody like you if you don't want to. Kelly and I were doing a jigsaw puzzle together. Because now we'll never finish it. Don't worry, Sweet Pea. I'll help you do it. No, you can't. It's at Kelly's house. <laughs> Morning, Mom. Hi. May I borrow some eggs? Oh, sure. Oliver's been practicing his flower trick again. Oh. Well, you know the rest. Well, help yourself. There's some on the counter. Thanks. So he's still at it, huh? Oh, he's inspired. He just found out he's going to be in talent night at school. Well, how nice. I bet he'll make the audience disappear. <laughs> that wasn't funny when the beaver said it. In any event, Tonight's going to be a wonderful night for the Cleavers. Oliver tells me you're going to read your horoscope. Yes. Yeah. No, the poem you wrote. Congratulations. Well, I better get the eggs and go home before Oliver gets bored and tries to saw the beaver in half. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Kelly, honey, why didn't you tell us about talent night? Uh... Oh, no, I remember. You see, I wrote a note to tell you on my hand. And then on the way home from school, I petted this wet dog, and it must have come off. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I'm glad we found out. And don't worry, honey. We'll be there first row. <laughs> oh, you bet. Oh, wait a minute. Tonight, I have a dinner meeting with Mr. Henderson. No problem. I'll pack some egg salad sandwiches, and we'll tell him it's dinner theater. <laughs> I wish I could. I can't even postpone it. Why not? Well, he's only going to be in town until tomorrow. I hate to miss Kelly's poem. Oh, it's all right, really. <laughs> Aunt Brady, you're on next, and then you, Kelly. Oh, your dad wanted you to have this. He's so great, just because he couldn't be here. Well, he's here. He just gave me that. Mr. Henderson trying to pick up our waitress, and I decided I didn't want to handle his divorce case. Hey, quiet, Cleaver. Can't you see the star of the show is on? Thank you, J.J. Rutherford. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce the amazing Oliverini. Oliver, Oliver Reaney. That was wonderful. Well, now, K. 
Kelly Cleaver will return and recite her poem, My Hometown. Kelly? Well, I guess she really did disappear. <laughs> uh, so, we'll move right along now, and uh, please welcome the comedy stylings of Jackie Ray. Good night, Mrs. Jenkins. Thanks for taking care of Kevin tonight. And uh, thanks for rearranging the furniture. We love it. Wally, she did it again. We'll fix it in the morning. Right now, I think we should talk about what happened to Talent Night. I told you, I really disappeared. <laughs> oh, honey, come on. We understand. A little case of stage fright is nothing to be ashamed of. Stage fright, yeah, that's it. Feels good to finally admit it. <laughs> can I watch TV now? Yeah, well, sure, if you can find it. I'll look for the couch. You try to find Kevin. <laughs> best friend. I can't play, Heather. You sure about that? Positive. Oh, Mr. Cleaver! Fine, I'll play with you. That's mine. Come on, we're going to my house. All right, but I gotta tell my folks. Okay, and also tell them that you're sleeping over tonight and that you're gonna be spending this summer with me and my aunts watching me water ski. In your dreams. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cleaver! Yeah, honey, what do you want? Oh, hi, Heather. Good news, I found the couch. Oh, hi, Heather. <laughs> Did I have something to say to your parents, Kelly? I didn't really write that poem. I copied the one that Dad read to me out of that book. And Heather knew it. She said that she'd tell on me if I wouldn't be her best friend. So that's why she's been hanging around with you. You've been blackmailing her. Mm -hmm. I don't think Kelly will be playing with you anymore. My dad's right. You lawyers make a big deal out of everything. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad she's gone. She made my life miserable. Yes, well, I don't mean to be unsympathetic, Kelly, but you have nobody to blame but yourself. <sighs> Kelly, why didn't you tell us what Heather was doing to you? Because I didn't want you to find out that I cheated. Not that dumb. Well, now I know. Dad, didn't you ever cheat on your homework? No. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't cheating. You just typed it for me. Are you kidding? I turned your scribbles into a ten-page report. <laughs> I'll see what Kevin wants. No, no, I'll take care of the child that can't talk yet. <laughs> Kelly, sometimes I... I can't believe this. What am I going to do with you? Don't ask me. I'm the one who got into this mess. Imagine how the man who really wrote that poem would feel if he knew what you did. But, Dad, he wrote that poem 200 years ago. He probably doesn't even remember it by now. You know, I'll bet that that poet worked as hard on his poem as uh, you did on this prehistoric diorama. Boy, that was tough. It took me two hours just to glue the fish to the pterodactyl's teeth. Yeah. yeah, and suppose Oliver was uh, assigned to make a diorama, but instead he took yours. But he can't do that. Well, he did, and he turned it in, and he got an A-plus on it. But he can't do that. Well, he did, and his teacher sent it to the president, and he liked it so much that he sent for Oliver, and Oliver's going to be the first kid to go on the space station. But that's not fair. I'm the one who did all the work. Why should he get to... I guess it's never right to take something that isn't yours. No, it isn't. Well, I'll sure never do that again. And, Dad, sometimes when you explain things to me like this, it's a lot better than punishing me. Well, this isn't one of those times. <laughs> That was excellent, my little raisin there. Next time, don't drown me out, Clarence. I'm so sorry. Let me get the door. Oh, hi, Lumpy. Hey, hi, Wally. How are you? Come on, JJ. Kelly's out in the car. We don't want to be late for the circus. <laughs> 
Boy, I'm sure glad the girls are friends again. Yeah. It's nice to have friends. Yeah. Somebody to be with when you're all alone. Got nothing to do. You bet. Bye, Clarence. <laughs> Bye, honey. See ya. Come on, Lumpy. We'll buy you a ticket. Tonight at 8.05 Eastern, they want to save their church. Theirs is a dream for Christmas. Then at 10.10 10 Eastern, Walter Matthau wants to write about his life in the CIA. With Linda Jackson's help, he might live to do it. Hopscotch. Down to Earth is coming up next on the Superstation.